Good afternoon, everyone. This is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Happy New Year, everyone. Today, I'm going to be doing my Monthly Techniques Tuesday class. It just so happens that it's the first Tuesday of the month, which is today. Um, I'm going to give it a few more seconds for everybody to come on. So, two more days and our two brand new catalogs go live the occasions catalog and the celebration catalog. I can't show you anything on the inside yet until January 3rd, but celebration is a real exciting time of year where you guys get to earn free products from this catalog for placing orders. So I'm so anxious for you guys to see what's in the new catalog. Um, starting today, I am going to be giving away the Hello Cupcake stamp set as my January uh, drawing. So anyone that places an order, whether online or through me, your name will be entered. And that includes the Paper Pumpkin subscribers also. Just wanted to show you a quick card that I made with this set. I ended up doing a double stack of the cupcake topper. And I colored each one of them with the clear wink of Stella, so they're nice and glimmery. So if you place an order, your name will be entered into my drawing. So for today's card, I'm using the Epsom salt background technique. I actually made this card way before Christmas and just didn't get a chance to show it to you guys. So even though this is a Christmas card, I'm going to do something different today, but with the same colors. So this is the background that I'm talking about. I use the Epsom salts, and it's hard for me to show you on camera, but once you use the Epsom salt when they dry, there's actually a sparkly finish to the background. I'm gonna see if I can try to capture it for you. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So let me go ahead and show you what we need today. I've got the Taylor Tag Punch, and I've got, let me see, this is the Light and Dark Highland Heather Blends, the Light and Dark, I think this is Balmy Blue Blends, Memento Black Ink, and since it's New Year's today, I thought I would make a little card using a little wine glass and a little wine bottle from the Half Full Stamp Set. I purchased this stamp back in June or July, and I haven't used it yet, so this is the first time I use it. For cardstock, because I'm going to stick with the same colors, Gorgeous Grape 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. Highland Heather five and a quarter by four, a scrap piece of white for stamping. And I've gone ahead and cut out a square that I'm going to use in the front. And I use the layering squares dies. Let me show you. These are the sets that they come in. And I use the largest size of the scallop and then for this inside square, this one measures two and a half inches. Now, in order to achieve this background, you need watercolor paper. So this is just a, a larger size. I'm gonna cut it down. I taped it to my Stampin' Pierce Max so it doesn't warp so much. And I'm going to bring in an aqua painter and a stamping spritzer with water. So let me move all of this aside. The two inks I'm using is Highland Heather and Balmy Blue. Because the ink pads are still new, they're still hard to squeeze. I'm sure you guys have found that out. I'm actually just going to take the re-inker and add a couple drops right in the lid. I'm going to do that with both colors. And then I'm going to take my spritzer with water and really, really, really get this wet. You need a lot of water. Enough that I can see that it's pulled right over the whole thing. 
And then I have a little Dixie cup here with Epsom salts. And the Epsom salts I just purchased at a, um, well, I think it was Walmart. It's just a big bag. It's a Equate brand. So I'm just going to have that ready. I'm going to spray some more water. And then what I'm going to do is grab some of the, the ink. And I'm just going to dab it on there. Keep spraying. And through the magic, I have one of these all done, but I just want to show you how I did this. Now, you know what? I thought I would use watercolor paper today because I thought it was going to work better, and it's not. So let me rewind, and I'm going to bring in Whisper White. This does not work as well. So let me just go ahead and cut a piece. This was an experiment. And as you can see, it's not spreading as well. I think what's happening is the watercolor paper absorbs it too much. Let me just get masking tape. Okay, so we're gonna try this again and I'm gonna stick with the Whisper White, which is what I had used on my card to begin with. And you'll see that it works better with the Whisper White. And when I'm putting the masking tape on, I'm just doing about a quarter of an inch on each side. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the difference with just using white paper. And what's happening is, let me get a better spritzer. I'm going to bring the big guns in. There we go. Now let's go ahead. And you can see that the water's going to move the, the ink color around. There we go. You need a lot of water. And that's why I get one uh, ready ahead of time. And you'll see because this takes forever to dry because there's so much water on here. The next step is going to be to sprinkle the Epsom salt. And that's what's going to make the marbled effect. So there's a lot of salt on there. It's going to absorb. It's going to give you that... You can see the effect that it gave on here. And when I take my finger and rub on here, this is really rough. Now, let me show you one that I've done. So this would probably take about an hour for, to dry so that you can use it. And this is the extra one that I did. And as you can see, it's Whisper White paper. You can still see some of the Epsom salt that's stuck on there. It's nice and rough. And now I'm going to cut this down. And the measurement that I need is three and three quarter. And I'm cutting through salt too, so it's a little bit thicker. And that's going to be three and three quarter by five. Now, let me bring in all of the other pieces. So the gorgeous grape is the card base, followed by Highland Heather. I'm trying not to place anything right here because it's wet.
Now, what I've done with the watercolor paper ahead of time, I've gone ahead and added a piece of the multi-purpose adhesive seats on the back, only because if you've seen me do this before, the paper gets warped when it's wet. So when you use the adhesive sheet, there's glue all over the, the whole back of the sheet. So now I'm going to glue this in place. And look how nice and flat that makes the piece of uh, cardstock that was wet. Now I'm going to bring in my little square that I cut out ahead of time. And that's going to go right in the center and to the left. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Now I'm going to show you how I stamped my two little images using the Memento ink. Because we're coloring with blends markers, we want to use the Memento ink. So there's my little wine bottle. There's my little wine glass. Now I'm going to color and I'm using the dark balmy blue and I'm only going to outline on the edge. And then over on the stem of the glass. Next is the light balmy blue. And I'm going to blend where they meet. And let me see, there's a little bit right here. I'm keeping with the same colors of the card. This is the dark Highland Heather. Again, I'm going to outline. And we're gonna have some grape colored wine. This is the non-alcoholic brand. Again, I'm going to blend where they meet. And then I'm going to show you something kind of cool that I did with this once I had them all colored. Okay, next is I'm bringing in the fine tip glue pen. I'm actually going to, I wish I had something I could raise this up. I'm actually going to color both images, fill it all in with the glue. And it's going to give it a glossy finish. Now I've got a little air bubble there. What I'm going to do with that is just bring in a scrap and grab it. Usually I can get rid of it. Now when you're doing this, try not to shake the bottle. And this takes a while to dry, so I do have two of these all made up. I'm gonna show you how glossy they are once they're dry. So this glue, um, it's, it's kind of weird. You can glue stuff with it, but if you use it in the manner that I'm using it and let it dry, it's not tacky. Okay, so I've got that all colored in. I'm going to set that aside. Let me put my little lid on. And let me show you how pretty that is. I'm gonna put it on one of my ink pads. And I'm gonna see if I can show you how shiny and glossy that is on the camera. And truly, it is not sticky at all. It's hard as a rock. And that's what I love about it. Okay, before I glue these in place, I've got a whole bunch of little pieces of cardstock here. I'm going to cut off the ends with the tailored tag punch. So I'm going to make four little, little banners. 
So these are just scraps. Some of them are um, an inch wide. Some of them are three quarters of an inch wide. I'm also going to bring in another piece for the sentiment. I'm going to stamp that with the uh, Memento Black. And that says, may your glass always be half full. I'm going to flag the end of that also. Okay, let me move some stuff aside here so I don't make a mess. Now, what I want to do with the little banners is just have them all lined up right here. So let me start out with the black one. And I don't need a lot. I don't have a card made up ahead of time, so I'm hoping this is going to work the way I'm envisioning it. Okay, there's one banner. Next, we'll do the gorgeous grape. Balmy blue. And the last one is the Highland Heather. We'll make that one really short. Let me see if I can make it a little shorter so we can see the gorgeous grape one below it. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my little wine glass and I've already added the stamping dimensionals and the mini dimensionals on the back. And the wine bottle. And lastly, my sentiment's going to be tucked in behind the bottle. And that's going to go right there. Now I should add a little bit of bling. It's New Year, so we need to add a little bit of bling. So let me get my rhinestone jewels if I can find them. And I'll add a few of these in the background. And then let me go ahead and bring in my other card. So this is the one I had made before Christmas. So you can see the backgrounds are a little bit different. So now let me show you how this is turning out so far. It's still got a long ways to go, but you can see that the marbling is starting to take effect. And once this is dry, all you need to do is actually take your hand, just push the salt aside and it's gonna peel right off. And you'll see that nice glittery finish that it creates on the background. So don't use watercolor paper. I proved that at the beginning of the video. It didn't work as well as the Whisper White. So that's it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my Tuesday techniques. I hope you'll give it a try. And make sure you show me a picture if you do give it a try. Have a good rest of your New Year's Day, everyone. And I will see you back uh, next Sunday for my Sunday share. Happy New Year!